Pizza delivery drivers of Reddit, what was the most fucked up place you've ever stopped at? I was delivering chicken, KFC, not pizza, but my worst stop was pathetic, really. I knock on the door, I hear a kid yell, I got it, he opens the door and runs up the stairs yelling to his friends, the chicken asshole's here. The chicken asshole's here. After which a crowd of about 8 pre-teens at the top of the stairs start throwing change down the stairs at me to pay for the delivery. I asked if they could hand me the money, they laugh and just throw the quarters dimes etc harder. So I picked up the bag of food, winged it up the stairs at them, it hit the wall, and I split. Told the boss what happened and if they call to complain I won't listen or apologize, I'll just quit if he brings it up. I found out later he did get a call and told them to get stuffed. Good boss. It if this counts as fucked up, but it always makes me laugh when I think back to it. I delivered pizza to a house where an older guy walks out in a robe sorta mumbling, I hand him the food he hands me a 20, I tell him it's 24. He mumbles okay and waddles back into the house, comes back and hands me another 20. I go to my pocket to get change and he slams the door on me. I also once delivered to an older woman who tells me to come in the side door. The food is about $34 and she hands me what I think is 40 and is really sweet, asking me how I'm doing and all that. I get back into my car and realize it's actually $60 and two of the 20s were sorta stuck together. I go back into her house to let her know and she says oh I know, it's for gas and whatever else you might need. I always remember that lady because it was just such a random nice thing to do and really made my day. Edit. Apparently this needs to be said at the beginning I'm a girl. I was a delivery driver and was working a morning shift. Around 10.30 am I got a delivery to an apartment, everything seems legit since it's daytime and there are lots of people close by. I knocked on the door and after 30 seconds or so the door opened a few inches and the guy was behind the door, so I only saw his face. Still didn't think it was weird because people do that when they're trying to restrain a dog. He asked me to put the pizza on the stove behind him and he moved back so I could see it was right behind him. I hesitated a second and decided not to do it, told him I can't enter homes, but I don't mind waiting until he's ready to take the pizza. He asked again, said it's right there, so I gave the same answer, really apologetic, but something wasn't feeling right, I realized later it was how quiet it was, didn't sound like there was an excited dog back there. So he opened the door wide open and was completely naked. And this guy was at least 60 years old and like 6 feet tall. I tried to hand him the pizza and gave him the total, averting my eyes the whole time. He wouldn't give me the money. He kept asking me to repeat the total and moved into my line of vision. I just took a step back and looked straight up. Eventually he gave me $25 and I gfo. Told everyone at the store and for an $8 tip and a chance to deck the guy all the boys that work there, hoped he would order again. The next day he did. When the driver got back he said he had to wait at least two minutes, and when the guy answered he was only wearing sweetpants, so he was sure he would do it again to a girl driver, so the guy got blacklisted. I once delivered to a guy living under his porch if that counts. I drove up to the house. It's pitch black. No lights on. I look at the ticket and it says use back door. I go up the steps and no lights on. Nothing. Then I hear a voice from below me say, hey down here. I look under the porch and there's a small door leading into what looked like a makeshift apartment. I had to actually crouch to get to it. Gave the guy the pizza and bounced the fuck out of there. I worked as a delivery driver for a very small Italian restaurant pizzeria during my first semester of college. This one time I delivered pizza to a swingers party. It wasn't like on the set of a porno or anything he straight up told me when I was like having a party. Because he ordered 12 pizzas. He answered that this was his first swingers party and he just wanted to be sure everyone was having a good time. Someone ordered pizzas to a funeral. There were a ton of people there, all summer and dressed in black, while I rolled up in my bright red greasy t-shirt lol. Definitely one of the most awkward experiences I've had grandma always loved dominoes. Rip rest in pizza? Rest in preparing a silly person. I didn't end up delivering the pizza, but the address was an abandoned house. It was around dusk and the house was so obviously uninhabited, I could see trees growing through the windows, and the backside of the house was crumbling so badly I could see to the backyard from the street. The instructions were to come around back. I double checked the address after locking my doors called the customer a couple of times, called the store, and told them what was up, and why I wasn't delivering the pizza and headed out. I mean seriously who would have been dumb enough to go to the back of that house? 
The neighborhood crack house is blacklisted from every pizza place in my city because drivers would get robbed on every delivery to that address calls pizza joint to get a pizza. Get ready to rob delivery driver. Pizza joint sends cops instead. I delivered to a drug house a few times, it was always obvious that these guys were selling using, but it never bothered me as they usually tipped well. This one time I got there, rang the bell and a baggie of, I'm guessing coke or heroin, I have no idea, slipped under the door, not sure what to do I decided to kick it back under the door and leave. Not super fucked up, but I think about it a lot. Same thing nearly. Known drug house, I knock on the door and the hear ruckus on the other side. A voice can be heard saying chill it's just a pizza guy. Door opens and dudes are cutting up the powdered stuff and putting in baggies for distribution in. They don't care that I can see with drugs and guns in full view. They tipped a quarter and said I forgot their soda, so I had to go back and get it. They never ordered a soda, they pulled that every time to get free stuff and coupons from the manager. Yeah, that house got raided eventually. I'm copying from a post I made over on Artalis from the Pizagai, so I apologize if my formatting is bad, but here's my pizza delivery story. One night I have a delivery to a pretty rural area. A lot of my deliveries are to rural areas, so no big deal. But tonight it's drizzling and especially dark, so I'm having trouble finding the address of the house I'm looking for. So I roll down the passenger window and use my really fucking bright flashlight, pointing it at mailboxes, trees, posts, anything that somebody might have their address on at the end of their driveway. So I'm driving along at like 5 miles an hour pointing my flashlight when the beam catches a guy wearing a black hoodie at the end of an obviously long gravel road staring directly at me. More of a glare at me, really. But whatever, could just be on the phone or something. Then it gets weirder. I finally find the address I'm looking for and pull into the drive and hop out of the car. That's when I get the sinking feeling. No cars, no house light, boarded up windows. If you've ever been a delivery person, you know that this is the time to go of there because you're about to get robbed. Right as I'm about to jump in, throw the car into reverse and nope the fuck out of there, I see a man walking across the empty field adjacent to the property towards me. Fuck. Now I'm a pretty burly, bearded dude, so I don't worry a whole lot on deliveries, but this scared the shit out of me. When he gets closer, I see him very obviously tucking something into his waistband, what I can only assume was a gun. He then says in a thick menacing southern accent, I thought you was the law, I guess because of how I was scanning the addresses. I meekly point to my car topper and the pizza in my hand, and he says in the nicest voice you've ever heard, oh, great. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Pays me, and proceeds to walk back through the open field, in the direction of no buildings, in the rain, with his pizza. For the rest of my shift I couldn't stop whispering what. The. Fuck. Strangest thing that's ever happened to me. Edit. Thanks for the double silver, kind strangers. For those of you asking how much he tipped, this was a while ago, so I don't remember exactly how much, but I think it was around $5 so pretty decent. I delivered subs, but one of our regular clients was an old lady in a nursing home who thought it was 1940s or something. She was super nice, but nobody would deliver to her because she would only tip you like 25 cents, because again, she was living way in the past. But I loved to sit and talk with her, so I always volunteered to do it. The nurses would pay the tip if they saw me, but usually I only got a quarter. Her delusional state was heartbreaking, she was for the most part lucid aside from not realizing what year it was. She'd give me hair makeup tips, loved to talk about men, and always told me stories about her husband, but seemed unsure of where he was because she never mentioned him dying or if he visits. Editing for those who seem to be convinced that either me or her is is lying, she didn't pay for the food, she obviously had dementia. The nurses called the order in, we had the card info, and we sent the order. If the delivery person didn't run into a nurse or find one to let them know the delivery was made, we didn't get a tip. She wasn't scamming us out of our tip, she was mentally unsound, the nurses even warned me upon meeting her that she will probably think she's way back in time, and to find them for the tip. Usually I didn't run into them and I felt bad hunting one down to ask for money when the old lady thought she had already tipped me. I don't know what kind of world you live in, but in the real one, not everyone is out to get you. GPS led me to my city's hospital. After getting directions from a lot of employees I finally found the room. I'll admit now, I really should have paid more attention to the signs, but was in rush and didn't bother. Luckily there was a nurse already in this lady's room. I was was just going to walk in and drop food off when the nurse starts shaking her hands and rushes to me. No, 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 you can't come in here. 
this is isolation oh I'm sorry, she ordered a delivery she went back in the room and asked the lady if he ordered delivery, and I heard the lady say yes. I overheard the nurse tell her, you should have told me. Nurse comes back to me to grab food and told me if I had walked in the room, I was not be let back out or something along those lines. Threw me for a loop haha, I will pay more attention now. I promise. Extremely large man naked on his bed telling me to come in. I yelled that I wouldn't like to do that, and he replied oh it's a girl, would they send a girl, as if we knew the situation there delivered to a trucker in his rig. Berated me for having a single nose piercing and colored hair, because he had a son with all them piercings, and all he does is drugs now. Then the man texted me can I ask you a silly question, I had called him to find his specific rig for the delivery. I ignored and blocked him, and he called the store asking for me specially to return and bring him a specific sauce packet my manager said no, and had me stay in the store with the crew until it was time to leave. One woman answered the door in a thong and asked where another delivery driver was. Told her he wasn't working. She replied well he knows to always do mine for me. Again tried to explain that he was not present in the store that day. Later found out he was dealing while delivering. Probably many more. Pizza delivery is a rite of passage in my opinion. So while I was in undergrad, I worked as a pizza delivery driver. I had a delivery to a dodgy part of town with a delicious pie. When I got within a couple miles of the residence, a local sheriff's deputy got in front of me. We made all the same turns. Then as we got closer, another got in front of him and one behind me. I start freaking out a bit as I'd been smoking some weed, but carry on. Finally, we all get to the same residence which is totally surrounded by police in riot gear, guns drawn, all that shit. I get out with my pizza and discover the house I'm supposed to deliver to is the one with SWAT out in front. One of the officers waves me off and says, he's not gonna need that today, and they proceed to breach the door, to which I return to the car with a free pizza and get the hell out of there. They were added to our do not deliver list, but I don't think we ever heard from them again. First time to a huge mansion that was renowned for big tips, where you had to go around the back to a gate leading to the pool patio. Guy who answered the gate doorbell had been disfigured in some horrible accident. He had me wait while he got his wallet, so I got a good dose of the backyard where a raging party was going on. Coke being snorted, craziness in the pool, booze bottles everywhere, and it was like midday on a Wednesday. Guy finally comes back, addresses me by name, no name tag, and says you don't remember me, do you? Knowing that I'd remember those injuries, I realized he must know me from before he got hurt, and I stammered out a week no, I don't. His response blew me away he recalled being in first grade with me at a local Catholic school I attended for one year. Then, he went on to detail everything about class that year, the people, teachers, activities, and that his accident had happened during the following summer, he'd gone through a windshield in a head-on with a semi. I delivered there a few more times and hung out chatting with him as long as I could. It slowly became clear that the party crowd was just using him for his money. That was fucked up enough, but what I also eventually realized was that he was stuck in that last normal year he'd lived, and, 20 years later, had moved back, irk, he'd moved away because his parents died or were severely injured in the accident, as soon as he was old enough to access the accident settlement. And the money was going up that crowd's nose pretty fast. I had no idea how to help him or even if he wanted help, and eventually started letting other drivers take that run. Never saw him again, even though it's a small town. Eventually he stopped ordering pizza, and then I left for a job elsewhere, but would pass by his house when visiting while my parents still lived there. Fewer and fewer cars were parked out front every time I went by, and the house slowly became overgrown with ivy. Fucked up. Edit. Thanks for the gold reading through comments now, thank you for those two, friends, realizing how sad this makes me thanks for letting me share.